I'm buying a vending machine today. We're collecting from vending machines today. Today, it's gonna be a movie. Got the money in hand. I got a band for your band for your band for your band. You feel me? I made it to the vending machine's place. I don't know if you guys can tell, but outside is looking crazy. Ooh. They said there's like some Canada fires. <laughs> one, one, two. Oh, these get screwed up with this nothing. Straight out. Okay. Test your machines always. And for the last question, like tips that you learn like over like your vending machine business. Something that you could like share with somebody. Cause I know you have like a lot of years of experience. Secure the locations before you buy equipment. Uh, a lot of people will go buy, you know, see stuff online and go buy 25 pieces of equipment and they can't secure locations. And then they're sitting in the garage. Stay away from the small combination machines. What's the manufacturing machines that you bought? It's some kind of Japanese yeah. or Chinese, you know, the kind of machines, I forgot what they're called. Yeah. RC, RC 800, RC 850, okay. something like that. That kind of stuff is not, you're not going to see that in a good commercial location. If you walk into a, a you know, a facility that's got 100 plus employees, those machines aren't going to work there. All right. They don't have a drop sensor. Their spirals are big and they're out of shape. The product always gets hung up. They don't hold enough product. You'd have to go there three times a week to fill them. Any profit you're making is killed with your manpower and your labor costs. Um, you have to look for bargains on products and your product pricing. You should try to make almost 100 percent on every item you sell. Meaning if you paid 50 cents for a product, you should be selling it for a buck. Oh my goodness, the sun. We off to location number one to fill up this vending machine. Let's go and collect. Yo, if you know, you know, like that location, it's crazy. Like how much money we're pulling out like every single week, every single two weeks, all, 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 all glory be to God. Because I remember in the beginning when we first bought that location, we pulled out like $23. And now we're able to pull like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds a week. So like, thank God. Next location, Lego. Got a little cha ching cha ching. I like the snack machine, but I got a little cha ching cha ching. I'm gonna drop this over here. Also, we have this gumbo machine. Got some cha ching cha ching in here. So the kids decided to rock my gumball machine and all the candies and the gumballs fell out because it fell on the floor and it opened. Now when they come back and they realize that all the prices went up, this is why. And I'm all done. I, I got all the money in here. It's a beautiful morning. We're going to pick up the machine finally. Yeah, which is fine. I don't care. Everybody got to make mine. 
gap. We all got to make money. He's a pain in your trouble. <laughs> Quick little update. So the guy's bringing my vending machine. I have to wait for him. He has to make a stop first. So of course we got. We got. I got to get some food. Look at this dude. I ordered a uh, um, a bacon egg and cheese. This bacon egg and cheese cost me like six dollars and fifty cents. Huh? I just want to talk about the future of this channel. I plan to um, do more entrepreneurial stuff on this channel. Um, I want to do like a series, zero to ten thousand dollars in a month, or zero to one hundred thousand dollars in a year. Like just some cool different challenges. The guy said he's twenty minutes away, so I have to empty this vending machine before he comes. Okay guys, the machine is empty, but the guy is here. By the way, I'm selling this vending machine. You have a soda machine in there? Yeah. Okay. So the best thing to do is you want it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you want it pristine, I can do that. Joe can do that too, I'm sure. That's a good machine. Guys, I promise you, last time we moved that vending machine, it took us almost like hours and hours and hours. And this guy just did it in five minutes. Experience. And the vending machine is done. Y'all dangle liabilities and we dangle assets. Let's see how much we made from four different vending machines. And also we collected from a gumball machine as well, so. We, we, we got hundreds. But from location one, I made a whopping total of $294. Guys, um, also too, there, there's coins on the table. There's a bunch of coins. So $294. From location two, we made $312.
and that's a whopping total of $606. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. If you made it to the end of the video, code word is vibes. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.